Ding dong, the witch is dead, witch, witch, the wicked witch is dead, is dead, is dead. J.K. Rowling has died. The Dark Lords of Harry Potter have surrounded her castle and invaded and dunked her in the river. If she's a witch, she will float. Oh, she drowned. Oh, well, she wasn't a witch. Oh, no, J.K. Yes, he's a witch. Mega Blast. Having a look at DC Future State. Now it's another black border copy. That's the highly ultra ultra collectible one, the expensive one. It's just a standard blue bordered copy. I might invest in that one, black one. Probably cost me by now. Having a look at DC's future state. <sighs> Haven't had a look at this yet. Discover the destiny of the DC universe. Yeah. Okay. So we look through this. Batman! Hot pussy girl. Well, you like me. <laughs> yeah. You're pretty cool, Selena Kyle. Superman! Superman 2, it's his son. Red X. Everyone's, what is it, that Go, go, go Teen Titans debut of, of Red X? Everyone's after that. Of course, these are the, the, the first appearances of some some jazz some jazzy stuff. Not online, but uh, in terms of print, yeah. Online, this this stuff's been around for a while. I mean, online first prints. <laughs> I'm just an idea. Uh, you can't collect online websites now, can we? Uh, leave a comment or something. Uh, Da, 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 da. The Magistrate. Gotham City. Life under the Magistrate. Uh, I like that Harley Quinn cover. Both Future State and the Robin Eternal. Those covers look pretty cool. Uh, ah, there's more on the back. Uh, uh, Jeremy Adams, Brandon Easton. Pictures of them. Future State introduces the next generation of DC voices. You got pictures of the fellas. So it offers that much. Uh, Superman, Worlds of War, Superman on Metropolis. Uh, right. There he is, that looks pretty heavy. With and without the Cape Superman. <clears throat> Immortal Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman Nubia. Uh, that's her sister, isn't it? Uh, and there's Yara Flora. I suppose this is this might be the first in print appearance of Yara Flora, apart from potentially the previews magazine. This is this is pretty much the early first print of Yara Flora. So I think obviously we knew we know in, in the, the collectors that this is a this is pretty much an issue to, to latch onto because it's got some first appearances pictures. So that's that's one of the early printings of Yara Floor. There might be a preview thing before this, and um, she might appear in some magazines, I don't know, but that's a very early one. So uh, we have a feeling, uh, I have a feeling she's going to be a bit of a thing. So this is, uh, this is where you're getting the first appearances for, uh, quite a lot, which is why it's nice to have the black copy, black bordered copy, instead of this blue bordered copy, which is common. The black border copy is one per, one per comic store. So, you know, that's probably worth the investment as well, despite it's probably going to be very expensive. But it's probably worth the, worth the investment. It's Nightwing. Uh, some of these will probably catch on in the long term. Uh, they're probably committed to something or another out of it. But then again, I remember Bloodlines of the 90s with the new blood characters, the new, the new, the new characters which started. 
They ran Anima for a while and Gunfire and things for a while, but nothing lasted out of bloodlines. It's potentially the same for Future State. Nothing might last. There might not be any real solid commitments to them. Uh, the Yara floor will probably hang around. I'm just feeling on that one. Uh, times have changed and there might be a bit more commitment now, but I don't know. Could be forgotten in five years and just... Who cares? Times have moved on and they're into new things out of DC and... Uh, Oh, well, we, we, we don't have the concerns of those writers anymore because they're not working at DC anymore. <laughs> they've had layoffs and they've updated again. <sighs> so, you know, depends how committed DC are to this stuff, but usually every generation has its own fresh commitments and uh, times have moved on. Uh, so it might end up a dollar comic. Feeling probably won't, they'll probably remain hot enough. Probably worth the investment. Blue, the blue boarded one is probably worth getting as well because it's, uh, it's, it's. I don't know if there's a huge amount of it out there, but it's it's probably worth getting. This is probably worth paying for. It's free technically at the store, but uh, there they all are. Yeah. And there's a checklist at the back, which doesn't surprise me. So uh, there, there it is, having a look at DC's future state. Yeah. Probably worth getting.